Alegaleres, how are you? How are things? How's life? I'm your host, Jaws Blake. This is the Painter Files Presents Painter's Breakfast. Cheers to you. I have been having an interesting week. I had to change out my first sensor. It was very painful. I did not enjoy it. Right now, before breakfast, my numbers are 181. So I'm drinking lemon water to try and help bring it down. I gotta go to the DMV right after this. So this is not gonna be a long show. Um, yeah, so I made a egg and cheese guacamole on sourdough. I had two weird experiences last week that I'm gonna tell you about. One was, this guy tried to talk to me about the NAACP, but instead he said, the nap. And I just went, what? <laughs> nap, nap, I'm not really sure how he said it. Um, but he thought it was something that you said, like it was uh, an acronym, what you say. And he just kept talking about it. And I was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. And at first I thought he was messing with me. I'm stuck in a dryer. What's up? Um, it was just the weirdest thing, though. I'd never heard anyone try to pronounce the NAACP as a word. So that was strange. Uh... And then later in the same day, <laughs> I had someone offer me a job for a giant mural, which I was excited about. And then I found out for where it was going to be. <laughs> I'm not doing it. So I know someone who lives on a, They their family has owned ancestral land from America, <laughs> which for many a black person means they owned a plantation. So their family owned a plantation. And as weird as that is, um, they still live there. Like they just have like a very old place and it's historically, uh, It's historically upkept so that it has I believe the structures are still there. But they have a couple new places in there. And on the new places, they were talking to me about maybe trying to get me to come down there, which is already a terrifying set. and paint a mural. I think it's like in West Virginia. I'm not going. Let's clarify this right now. I'm not going. But it was just a strange request because it's not something you, it's not something you hear every day. In most situations, it's not what you hear every day. It's a little strange. So I've been just trying basically to <laughs> talk about it to the black people I know because their look on their face was very similar to mine. I'm just like, oh, what? <laughs> um, it's just very strange. It's one of those things you don't expect to hear anyone say. <laughs> you never expect to hear someone to go, hey, so I live on an old plantation. And you're like, wait, what? <laughs> And, uh, it was just kind of shocking. I got to be honest with you. 
I got what they were trying to do, and I think it's probably... It might even be, like, a noble reason in which to get it done, but, like, I don't feel comfortable with that. And I think for artists, here's the lesson. I think for artists, if you do not feel comfortable doing something, you are not then obligated to do it. It doesn't matter the money. It doesn't matter the exposure. Like, if you're just not comfortable with it, you're not going to. Don't do it. Honestly. I think too many of us have been told to just, like, run for every dime that someone offers us. I just don't think that's necessary. I think much of what we do in our lives, as far as artists goes, really are up to us. I know it's like a strange sentence for some people to hear. Because we're taught not to like leave money out there. In my experience, the two people who I've learned client-wise who are the most stingy, and once again, no slight on this person. Um, wealthy people are pretty, typically pretty stingy about a lot of stuff. They don't want to. They don't want to go with a lot of different ideas. Uh, they also kind of want to shortchange you, which is like a weird thing. The people who don't have a lot of money will tell you straight up, like, I don't have the budget for that. But a person who's very wealthy typically will just go like, I don't think it's worth that. Which is always like an interesting commentary on how they came up with a number that they value to be something that someone else does. Because, like, really, what are they basing it on? From my experience, oftentimes the reason how people stay wealthy is they know how to save money. And sometimes save money means be cheap. I mean, sometimes it's not, but a lot of times it is. So, it's just kind of interesting to see how... To see how everything comes together, I guess, in a lot of ways. Like, I need to kind of reevaluate, do all that stuff. I got my, my, my crown shirt, my skull crown shirt, that I'm going to wear for my DMV new driver's license photo. I'm about to be 42 in a couple weeks, and so I have to go to the DMV today to renew my license. I have to go, I have to go in, which I typically would just do online, but I have to go in because they want to give me an eye test first because I am of an age in which they say you have to do that. Hopefully they're not gonna make me take a horrible driver's license photo. They like to make me take bad driver's license photos. Uh, typically, it's something along the lines of put your hair down, now tuck it behind your ears so that your ears stick out like this and this will be your photo. <laughs> and I'm just like, this is so evil. Like, why are you doing this to me? Why you gotta make my, I, you know, I don't think I'm a, I don't think I'm a super stud or anything, but I'm an attractive guy. It, you, why you gotta make me have a goofy ass uh, driver's license photo? I could have like, you know, I have, it didn't have to be a sexy photo, but I mean, it needs to be, at least look like me in some way, shape, or form. Put a little hot sauce on that. Um, it's just funny. I think most people leave the DMV feeling very ashamed of their photos. <laughs> so, hmm. Uh, so, I've got the Patreon stuff I gotta work on today when I get back, and then I need to basically just. Mm, relax for the day. I got a busy week coming up, so 
and Alex's birthday is next week, next Tuesday. So I'm excited. Not this Tuesday, next Tuesday, March 5th. So I'm excited about that. We're going to do some nice stuff. All right. Love you, Galeras. Like I said, short show. I hope you had a good day. I hope you have a great breakfast. Um, tell me what you had for lunch in the comments. Or what you'd like to have for lunch. Or what you'd like me to have for lunch. Remember, I am mostly vegetarian. I do eat eggs. Well, I'm a pescatarian. I eat fish sometimes. Um, so yeah, whatever. I'll talk to you later. Paint her out. Ciao. Bye. Bloop -a -doo -doo -a -doo. Bloop -bloop -bloop -bloop. Hitting buttons. Still hitting buttons. Uh, there we go.